This is not an international corporation, the Lakers, like many team owners. It's, it's a vanity business or something. This is how you, the Bus family, makes a living. This is your legacy for your children and everything, and yet you're about to be faced with a massive hundred luxury tax bill. How do you weigh that against the Bus family's insane competitiveness and desire to put championship after championship team on the court for the city of L.A.? Yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult with the loss of revenue due to no ticket sales um, in the arena. Um, you know, we are in a, uh, a, a league that is dictated by a uh, salary cap, a collective bargaining agreement. So we have to abide by all those rules. Um, but, you know, the luxury tax is for teams that, you know, have championship aspirations. And certainly that is something that we want to keep the Lakers at the top of the conversation. And, um, you know, once LeBron James decided to uh, join the Lakers, you know, the way he's playing, he doesn't seem like he's 36 years old. But when you have a player like LeBron James on your team, you got to go for it. You got to use that opportunity to um, to win. So, you know, we'll, we'll manage the cap just like every other team in the league has to do. We play by the same rules. Got to ask you, how much time left do you think LeBron James has? I mean, he looks like it's endless. It looks like he can keep on going and going and going like a Duracell battery for crying out loud. I got to ask you, have you received any kind of indication where it's just going to be a couple of years? He just wants to get a solid 20 seasons in. Or do you have this mentality that, you know, Excuse me, he's giving you every indication he's going to play for years to come. What do you get from talking to LeBron James about, about his future? Uh, uh, well, you know, it is it is like a, a, a really good match. Um, we, we want him to stay around as long as he wants to stay around. Uh, Kareem played till he was, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played till he was 42. Um, LeBron said something the other day about how he probably won't play when he's 46. So, so maybe somewhere between, you know, now and 46, so another 10 years, somewhere, you know, whatever he wants to do. Um, we, we love having him. Uh, I have to say he, he drafted a really good all-star team yesterday. Yes, he did. The all -Star <laughs> game. He's, he knows basketball. He's competitive. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's just we're having a lot of fun having him around. But the, the one thing that's missing are the fans. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeannie, there's been some discussion about changing the league logo. Why do you think that Kobe Bryant should be the new face of the NBA logo? I think Kobe Bryant should be the, the face of every sports league, every every you know, the Olympics. I, I think that Kobe stood for everything that we aspire to in sports, hard work, perseverance, dedication, will, the, you know, the Mamba mentality. I think he would be an icon fitting for, for every, everything involved in sports. Why do you feel, Jeannie, you mentioned it earlier, and I've heard you talk about being the steward of the team as though it's a public trust, the Lakers, even though it's privately owned. Um, it's, I, having lived in L.A. for six years, that is, the Lakers are what make L.A. a city before anything else. Otherwise, it's a bunch of kind of vaguely sort of connected suburbs. But everyone, socioeconomic, race, age, gender, doesn't matter, comes together, you said, under the purple and gold flag. What responsibility and why do you feel the responsibility as though the Lakers are a public trust? Um, you know, that, that came from my father. It's, it's about... Uh, inclusion about everybody coming together and and doing great things and and you know it, it's the Lakers have that ability it's a platform that's bigger than any one owner any one player any one coach um, it it belongs to Laker Nation uh, Laker Nation is um, you know the heartbeat of of you know the Lakers and, and what it stands for. They'll be a lot around a lot longer than I'll be around. And, uh, you know, this is my time to, to make sure and protect the brand and protect what our fans have come to expect from, from the best family, from this organization. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.